Who's this guy? Why is he dead? Why did you kill him? What did he do to deserve this? This terrible fate. Oh, check me out. This video has been modified from its original version. It has been formatted to contain all the cheesiness. Hello friends, welcome to Max Payne 2. I know it's about time. I should have played this game a hundred years ago. I played the first game like two years ago on my YouTube channel and I will have the link to that let's play down below if you wish to go and watch that first. This is a noir shooty game. <laughs> And it's got a lot of cheese in it. Fantastic series of games. I absolutely adored the first one. It was amazing. And I really think that if you have not played Max Payne, you should do so. Put your noir pants on because we are about to embark on an adventure with Max Payne in the setting of, I think it maybe is New York, but I don't really remember. Let us continue the story of Max Payne. <laughs> God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun. A bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds, pupils blown, head trauma, God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large bore IVs, get him to ICU. He's, He's not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, the roots clear. Allow me to present Max Kane. Come on up. Max, dear, all my friends. Kane, did you want to get out of here in the middle? Max, I'm one one. Sorry, I'm okay. Run! Run! Okay, here we go, Max Payne! E to use stuff. Oh wait, oh, there we go, okay. So, obviously it's been a very long time since I played Max Payne 1. So you'll have to forgive me while I remember not only what was going on, but also uh, the controls and stuff, which I assume are pretty much the same. <laughs> yes. Waste all those paper towels, Max. Evil playthrough. Mirrors work? That is pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff in Max Payne uh, to interact with. Most of it is just extra stuff. But some of it is really cool as well. And a lot of it is going funny. Hello. About what happened. Anyone there? Well, I would fuck her. Oh, language! Drop your weapon! NYPD, freeze! What were you thinking? Back off, Payne. Back off, Payne. Max? Max, answer me, Max! Okay, hold on. Is there subtitles for... I guess there's no subtitles for that, unfortunately. Uh, sorry about that, friends. 
I wish there was. Hopefully you heard what, what they said there. Um, what kind of stuff? Okay, that's a locked sound. Got it. All right, got it. Yep, got it. Let's, let's loot some more of these and get painkillers. So, the most... Oh, Jesus. Oh, good lord! Oh! Oh, close your eyes! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well that was a good memory. There was a blind spot in my head. A bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. The max pain. God, I love this freaking game so much. <laughs> I love the noir and the, the just the vibe and the cheesy noir dialogue. It is the best thing ever. Uh, I will be geeking out about it a bit. Hello? The main residence. Dr. Magdalena from ER. You can give away the bed you were holding for me. That detective we were waiting for was DOA. She's headed for the morgue. Okay, was that an actual... That was a memory too, right? That might have been about... Um... Oh, oh, we need, actually, we need to use a painkiller. Um, what is the hotkey for that? Combat. Uh, mouse settings, uh, movement. Oh, movement, okay, tab or backspace. There we go, yum, yum, yum. Didn't really help that much. What I was about to say, by the way, oh. One of the most notable things in Max Payne, and the coolest features, is the bullet time. So, if I right click, it slows down time. I don't actually have any guns right now, but I will show it off when I go. Oh. Who's this guy? Oh, he's got a gun. I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Ah, shit. Freeze, NYPD. Found him. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, bang! Yeah, you'll deal with me, my ass. But please don't, please don't deal with my ass. That's not what I meant. You know, you know what I meant. Painkillers! Drugs! Damn it! There we go. Okay, nothing in there. So yeah, like I was saying, bullet time is... Basically how you win the game. Oh! <laughs> She's one of them. She's here to kill me. Back off, Payne. Winterson! Oh, Winterson! Oh, okay, Winterson was the... Person from the first game. Oh, God damn it! I need to rewatch the the recap thing. I will have that the recap as uh, for you guys probably in a separate video before this video, because just you know to catch us up on what's going on. But uh, I will not have watched it until after this episode because I'm a big dum dum. So pardon for that. I was just in such a hurry to start recording this that I just kind of jumped right into it. No regrets, though. No regrets. The countryside was sickeningly pretty. The sun, <gasps> sweet summer day, rain sparkling on grass. Yes. Birds in the trees, children playing. Ah, the Pink Bird Mental Institute. Mira's men pretended to be hospital wardens.
Mango was with him. Mira are more fun than television. <laughs> Mira claimed my girlfriend had turned evil. Joined him. She has died her carrot. Oh. I smashed the mirror. I'd kill them all. Address unknown. Stay tuned as address unknown continues. Address unknown. Here's a question for you guys. Do you say address or address? Because I the word address to me is a is a like to address something is to like take care of something, but an address of something uh, is is you know a, like a, a a location, a coordinate. So it's interesting that they say it like that. Anyways, there's gonna be some of these lovely episodes of that show on TV throughout the game, and we will be watching them because. They're amazing. Anyway. Yeah, it's too late. No, no. Beep beep. All right, and then we have, here's our guns. So we can use dual pistols, one pistol, or melee. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with one pistol for now. One, five, five, a gun. Also, let's do a save. I think there's a quick save too, F5. Oh boy, at midnight, everyone tune in. I don't know Max is gonna. Are we gonna have an elevator catastrophe? I hope not. No? Hey! Hi! Jim Bravura! You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it! Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck! Did you do it? You killed no, no, no. it! No, I can't. No! Shit. <laughs> That's some bullshit right there. <laughs> Alright, dude. What? Uh oh. They were after me. Well. It was my fault. Well. You can't run from your past. You'll end up running in circles. Well. Until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. Only the hole's grown deeper. Yeah. Okay, well, so much for having guns. Did they fall down here miraculously so that I could retrieve them? Uh, no, they did not. Okay, well. Oops. Uh, that's annoying. Also, Jim's dead. Oh! Winterson. I had tried to run from it. Edit it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. I know Winterson is, is she the main bad guy? I'm gonna, after this episode, I'm gonna recap better, but I'm pretty sure she's like the main A false lady. start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made, and it would get worse before the end. Mm. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you. Drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made. Like staying at work late to chat with a friend. Instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Where are those extra units? Call the central. We need every available unit here now. I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. Trace my own steps, okay. Part one, the darkness inside. New York City, 
last night. I was right, New York. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed, a hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out, back to the job, the NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there, acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while. My brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. Okay, we're back working for the NYPD. <clears throat> goody gumdrops. Goody, goody gum. Oh. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10 4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. God, Max, you're so handsome. You're so handsome. Hey, look, cold touch brandy. A taste of gold. All right, let's do this. Save again, because I don't know if, it, if the auto it probably auto saves ever at the beginning of the level, but you never know. So just in case. And I got my health back. That's good. Beep beep. Okay. So pistol. Oh. oh. He was connected to Orgazan crime. Whatever. Oh, F one does this. Like brothers caught in the opposite sides. Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay. I can just recap the the comics. Okay, that that's neat. I didn't. Oops, I didn't realize I could do that. Do, 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 do. Un the gum. All right. How do I get up into this lovely establishment? No standing any time. Oh, is that what you think? I stand where I wish to stand. No one can stop me. Um, is there a door? Oh, I can go this way. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, yeah. off the rearview mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. That's right, gotta, gotta distract yourself from the terrible past. The only way to do it, Max. The only way. <laughs> Please! Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah! No, no, no! Oh, don't go, no, God! Sharon, baby! Oh, Sharon! Why? No! Dick Justice! Stranded in the dark and violent night, Dick Justice, a lone, hard-boiled fugitive <laughs> cop, framed for the murder of his wife, on a quest for vengeance through the criminal underworld, in the city's darkness. Oops. The rain was coming down like all the angels in heaven had decided to take a piss at the same time. <laughs> in a situation like mine, you can only think in metaphors. Yep, that's true. They had killed the love of my life. They were going to pay. Dick Justice. Lords and ladies. Rack on Tour magazine says it is the best costume drama since the tragic affairs of Jonathan Nightingale. Elegance says it has more melodrama than the award-winning A Sudden Loss of Innocence. Silk and Lace gives it five handkerchiefs. <laughs> Lords and Ladies continues with all new episodes. Oh, boy. Insurance companies okay. because your home is your castle. Also, I love how all those shows are basically just another metaphor for Max Payne's life right now. <laughs> it's pretty great. Uh, not Lords and Ladies, of course, but you know, uh, the Dick Justice. They, that's who Max Payne is. It's his alter ego, Dick Justice. Hello. NYPD. Whoa, easy, officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Oh, yeah? Squeaky clean? Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the Squeaky Cleaning Company. 
You didn't hear anything suspicious just now. No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Gun workshop? Sure, officer. If that's what you want. Oh. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains and guts and yeah. shit. Yeah. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Raise your hand if you trust this guy. I don't. I don't think he's very squeaky clean himself, if you know what I mean. After you, detective. No, after you, sir. Miss, or should I call you squeaky? Oh, dear. Uh, something seems to be amiss. Can I shoot you right now? Oh, detective. Uh. I've got something for you. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Dear. I can't ship for you. Okay, hold on, hold on. Whoa! Ah, I screwed it up. But still, it was really cool. <laughs> ah, I should have seen that from a mile away. In fact, I did see that from a mile away. Oh, Ragnarok! That's- isn't that the nightclub from the first game, I think? Ooh, could I have blown that up? Well, that's incriminating, to say the least. Masquerading as cleaners. They're not even good at masquerading as cleaners. Look at this mess. What a mess. When they do. We're trying to clean the place. They should have more sense than to bleed on the <laughs> That's the ticket. We should find a way to kill them without spilling any blood. Yeah. You know, gas or poison or something. Yeah, that would be so much easier on you guys. <laughs> Make your job so much easier. Who's this guy? Why is he dead? Why did you kill him? What did he do to deserve this fate? This terrible fate? I don't have any pills. All right. Uh, where do I go now? Can I go through this door and I just didn't realize? Oh, I can, okay. Hooray for me! That's locked for sure. Do 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 do. I will be saving a lot. Jackie Brown. Okay. I'll round up the crew. Make sure the cleanup's done. Bodies, blood, prints, air, mags, empty grass. When we're out of here, there won't be a shred of evidence when it comes to body. Just a ghost story. Hmm. There. Hey. Oh. oh. Shot in the dick. Shot. Shot in the dick. Dick shot. Okay. Oh hi. Okay. I don't know why I didn't think you were gonna be there. I just. Didn't. The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. Mm. Yeah. What a shitty lie to. Oh, there's a gun workshop upstairs in this garage for some reason. Vodka burka! Could I have some gun? I would like some gun, please. The answering machine had a message on it. Shotgun? What's that? Pistol ammo! You've reached Annie Finn. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beat. You have one new message. A sweet Annie. Flood here to be a gun in your gentle care. Ah, man can dream. Ew. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised. Something's come up. Nothing to worry about, but keep an eye out for trespassers. 
anything comes in, just whistle, and I'll be there. I think I want to tweak the sound a bit. Oops. Uh, just a little bit, see. You know. Just a You bit. have no new messages. I love the music, but I, I love the dialogue more. Bom, 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 bom. How about some pills, game? That would be welcome. I love ammo too, though. You know, can't go wrong with that. It's locked. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh. Hello. Shotgun. Somebody's getting threatened over there. Hold on, I'll be right there, ma'am. Aha, there we go. Heal. Heals. Beautiful. Okay. Enough chit chat. Finish her. Oh no, is, is Wait, that Annie? The mob guys attacked us. I have no beef with you guys. You took them out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We, we can... NYPD, drop them! Finish her! Oh, God, no! Oh man. Like all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After him, don't... Ha! I couldn't possibly save her. Oh. Ooh, Ingram. Sorry, lady. I'm guessing you're Annie. Now I'm even more scarred for life. Oh, hell yes, though. Yes. Okay, I can't open that. Can't open that. But now, got the shotgun. Woo! Party time, and the liberty is easy. Oh god. oh god, he's right there. Oh, wait. Do I need to reload? What happened? Why couldn't I shoot? Why no shoot? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh. Whoa, Max, how did you do that? That was badass. I don't know how you did that, but that was the coolest looking spin move I've ever seen. Heck yeah. Okay, I'm gonna die. I need to be dodging more and uh, doing a slow time. Oh, like this. Okay, I'm still not doing it right. Still not doing it right. Huh. How do I do the thing where I dive and shoot? Oh, yeah, it's an entirely different button. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay, I'm just dumb. Got it. Okay, got it. Um, I'll probably reload, because... I'll probably, uh... I better reload that because I was ex I was experimenting, you know, you know how it is, you know. We're gonna do. Kill him. Yeah. <laughs> die, die. Okay. Can I only do that with my pistols? That is another question. Another question that I had. It didn't seem to let me do it with my uh, shotgun there. Don't let him get away. The back door. Kaufman won't wait. Hold it. Oh, check me out. Okay. <laughs> It was also sloppy. Don't worry, I'll get the hang of it. We'll get the hang of it. Yep. Let's do the Uzi. 
save the game. Come on, come on. <sighs> Finally. Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! Oh my god, Mona, you're alive! I love you, Mona! I love you so much! Oh, shit. Can I not go in the elevator? If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. Do I want to go this way? I don't know. I'll just, I'll follow Mona. Seems like the right thing to do, you know? Mona! My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. Okay, no, it's definitely use a shotgun. Ow. Bow, bow. Gotta be careful here. Gotta be careful. Oh. Whoops. All right. Hang on, I don't want to miss anything in case there's anything over here. Is there any loot? No. Oh, okay. I'm also out of painkillers right now, which is not ideal. Okay! Uh, sure! Sure, yeah, 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 sure. Oh, they're, they are legit running away, okay. Does that guy drop any delicious loot? Nope. Oh no, bodies! Ah! They're all dead! I couldn't save them! Get in! Go! Go! All right. Who are you? Detective Winterson. Wait. I'm okay, damn it. Hey, we're working together on this. Huh? Okay. You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winnison's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. Squeaky clean search. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. 
Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Oh, wow. We're going black! Max! 911! Bad guys with big guns! <laughs> They've got me pinned down on the entrance hall! Could use some help! Could use it now! I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Oh my god! Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. Yeah. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. Dearest guests, prepare to die. Max, I'd love to come and welcome you, but I'm busy dodging bullets and hiding under a desk at the moment. Okay. Oh my god. So yeah, Ragnarok Nightclub was a big, a big like, you know, area in the first game, so that's really cool. But, that's all the time for we have in this episode. I'm gonna keep these episodes a lot shorter to begin with, and I also want to stop just to make sure all the, all the, you know, recording stuff is working properly, because I did have some issues recording this game a little bit. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna recap myself a little bit more thoroughly. Uh, because for some reason I was remembering Winterson as somebody else, but I guess Winterson is Max's partner, and actually that does ring a bell. So, <laughs> next time I will have a better memory of what goes on in the first game, and, uh, I will be ready to continue. But I'm gonna keep these episodes, the plan is to release them, uh, frequently, and have them be slightly shorter. So hopefully that works out. Let me know what you guys think and if you're enjoying this so far. Again, if you want to watch my Let's Play of the first game that I did a while back, link is in the description below as well as on this video in the upper upper right corner up there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, stay cheesy. Bye-bye, friends. A cold touch brandy, a taste of gold.